Spencer, Stan and Ben, all welcome to the club. Uh, Spencer, you sit here as a chairman of AFC Mansell. How did this uh, opportunity uh, come about? Uh, really what we've been looking to do as an academy at NEFA uh, is get involved with the non-league club um, to give a pathway to some of our players that are good enough uh, to play at Step 5. I've known Andrew for many years, uh, the last decade, and uh, when the opportunity came up, I gave him a call and uh, the last three or four weeks we've been talking and uh, finally got over the line Friday of last week and announced today, so we're all dead excited about it. Great to be working with Stan again, I work with Ben every day at NEFA, so hopefully we'll bring a lot for the players in terms of coaching and really develop the club and take it forward. Uh, Stan, you've known uh, Spencer for uh, quite a while and you've obviously been involved with AFC. Uh, just how good it is to uh, be back at AFC Mansfield? Yeah, really, really pleased to be back. Um, when I spoke to Spencer um, last week and he let me know what was happening, it was such an easy decision for me to come back to the club. Uh, look to be working with Spencer again. Uh, massive draw for that. Um, I think we get the best from each other uh, in the two previous clubs we've worked with. Um, so for me, easy decision. Delighted to be back and delighted to be working with Spencer again. And look forward to working with Ben as well. Uh, ben, uh, your, your first time uh, here um, with, at AFC Mansfield, you've obviously worked for these two. Just uh, your first impressions about the uh, club in general. Oh, it's, it, looks, it looks a great looking out there, it looks a great pitch, it's got a good family feel. You walk in, there's, uh, there's people all around the club and, and, and I've been to other non-league clubs before and, and it's, it's a good impression when you see people around the club and want to be part of the community and, and that's what we're here for, to, to make this football club a part of the community. And uh, Spencer um, uh, Ryan has also been um, announced uh, as as a part uh, shareholder in uh, AFC Mansfield. What can, can you just tell us about his role in, in, in the club and what can he bring to the uh, table? Yeah, I think you know Ryan's got a vast experience. You know, he's editor in chief at FC Business at just twenty four years of age. You know, he's been a chief executive of a, of a national league football club. Worked for Wolves, worked for Port Vale. You know, he's got a vast knowledge, uh, very well respected in the game. So Ryan will look after a lot of the off the field stuff. Uh, hopefully, obviously, you get on with the coaching and the playing side of it, but it, it brings a lot of quality, so it's great to have Ryan on board as well. And can we just uh, talk about obviously the season's coming up uh, thick and fast? We are in the new uh, new league. Can you just uh, talk us through uh, some of your early goals for, uh, for the start of the season? Yeah, I mean, what we've done before the announcement was made today, we made the effort to speak to every player. Uh, there's still two players I need to speak to, one's away and one I've got to still get hold of, and just let them know what the plans are. So. What we're doing in terms of players, we've uh, offered three that we know pretty well, um, deals, one's accepted, so we're thinking about it because they've got other offers to consider, which is fair enough. And the rest of the boys, we invite them all back to training, uh, which starts on the 25th of June this week. We have to have a look at them before we can make a decision. Uh, there's other players we're speaking to as well, uh, probably eight or nine have said yes, they want to be with us, but we can't send anybody until the 1st of July anyway, so uh, that's why there's no news coming out just yet. But, Getting the squad together is the most important thing. Let's get training on the 25th of June. Can't come soon enough for us, can it? Now to get cracking, uh, and we'll take it from there. And um, just why should the um, part of the community of Forest Town uh, be excited for you, uh, your arrival and what, and also your name with the uh, NEFA uh, to develop younger uh, 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 younger players? Uh, um, uh, how can you? Uh, how how would you be able to achieve that? Yeah, well, we've got a good, you know, four or five at, at our academy. We're based in Rotherham, who probably are ready for the step up to step five. But I think what we have to make really clear is we're not just going to throw young players in who aren't ready. Um, we are about developing young players, about giving them an opportunity. But also, we have to win games of football on Saturday as well. None of us want to turn up on a Saturday afternoon and we're losing every week. So it's going to be a blend of young players, either locally or from NEFA, with some experienced players as well. And that's really key to get that blend as we start the season. So in terms of the local area and Forest Town, you know, we want volunteers to come forward, we want people to get involved in the football club. We have a population of around 11,000 in this town. Uh, we want to give them something to be proud of uh, and something that, you know, yeah, that they believe in, that we want to develop young people, but also we want to engage the football. And you have uh, connections with professional teams, with, um, such as uh, Notts County, for example, to the NEFA. Uh, uh, would, uh, would that be uh, a benefit uh, to uh, to uh, AFC Mansell side potentially in the future? Yeah, it may be. I mean, there may be players in counties under 18s and 19s that, that may want to come here and get some experience if they're good enough for the level. Equally with Mansfield Town as well. I know Richard Cooper well and Jamie Maguire and I've worked with the club and that's our local club as well um, in this area. So there will be opportunities. 
Uh, but I think through this game, the nucleus of the squad, getting a good 16, 17, 18 players, and then we can see where we are. And of course, when the game starts pre season, we can really get the opportunity to try new things and see who's going to fit in. And, uh, you know, where do you see AFC Mansfield in, say, five years, uh, five years, five years time? What are your longer term goals? I think for us as a, a football club, it's, you know, how we measure success. Yes, we want to win games of football. Every game that we play, that's important. But we'll measure success by the players that come in and where they end up in the pyramid. So if a player comes into us and goes two or three divisions higher, that's success for us. It's not just about winning the game of football on a Saturday. So that's how we measure it. Hopefully, a lot of the younger players that were 19, 20, 21 will come here, have a year, have two years, and then they'll go up and earn some money playing football. And uh, Stan, you take over from uh, Phil, uh, Phil Buxton, you know very well. He was your uh, club captain when you and Matt were last here. Um, just uh, what important role has he played over the last 10 years of the, of the club? And, uh, and uh, Phil's uh, probably the biggest club legend uh, there is. Uh, the dedication he gave to this club um, possibly may never be matched. And I think that's got to be full credit to him, his loyalty, um, for everything as a player, uh, as a captain, and then as a manager for the season. Um, he, he probably is the biggest legend the club's had. And, um, I wish him well for the next venture because he's a very good man, Phil. Um, I do like his company. Um, so yeah, just really, I can't speak highly enough of him uh, and everything that he's done for this club over the past 10 years. And, and, standing. and uh, unfortunately, so you also say goodbye to uh, another club legend in uh, John uh, Delary, don't we? Yeah. And he, he's been uh, outstanding for the last, for his professional life too, over the last 10 years as well, hasn't he? He, he certainly has, yeah. I spoke to John yesterday and I think uh, old father time's caught him with him in terms of his playing days. Yeah. Um, but of course, you know, he's played at a high level, he's got loads of knowledge and experience as well. And he's looking at potentially going into a coaching room. So, although it's not with us, we have the conversation where he is to support the process as much as we can and help him if we can. Uh, the same goes with Phil as well, as he looks to get a, a new managerial position or a coaching position. Uh, but really good conversations with those. I think there's uh, other people to probably let you know about Ross Dugan Wonder with the club uh, next year. You know, we know how good Ross is, a fantastic footballer, particularly at this level, but he's going to get something closer to home. Um, who else have we spoke to? Spoke to John, obviously spoke to Phil. Uh, Mark Dudley as well. The, the travelling in terms of the league move is, is not for him, uh, so we'll be moving on. But, uh, but like I said, we spoke to everybody apart from, from the two players and had good conversations. And you've just uh, mentioned the new league now, it throws up a whole lot of challenges, something we can be really, um, really excited for. Uh, just how excited are you for this new season? Yeah, I think. You know, for us as a football club, you know, being in the North East Counties, we're one of the most southern based, I think, us in Sherwood, so there's a lot of travelling, so it's going to be less travelling, which is good for our fans. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got seven local games within a 20 mile radius, so that'll be really good. Uh, but for me, I've never managed or coached at this, this level in this league, so I think you know, all are excited about new challenges, seeing some new places, and, uh, you know, give it a good shot. And uh, like I said earlier, give Forest Town the team that they're proud of. We can only wish you uh, every success and welcome, welcome again to ASC Max. Thanks, John. Cheers, Cheers mate. John.